Hi, my name is Victoria Rose. I'm a tattooist and an artist, and we are in Taylor May Tattoo in Brisbane. Oh, I was very lucky to get into this industry. I was 19. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, but I remember having a dream of being a tattooist when I was about 13 or 12. I didn't know anything about the industry. I came from a very conservative uh, upbringing, Catholic school from kindergarten all the way through to high school. I didn't really have any tattooed friends or didn't know anything about the industry. I wasn't really on the internet at that time. This was like early 2000s. I decided that what was the best thing for me to do is just to go get a tattoo. So at the age of 19, I went and got my first tattoo and was lucky enough to be tattooed by the boss and to be offered a weekend job uh, for Saturdays. And I was like, sure, I want to learn to tattoo. So I started working on the weekends. By the age of 21, I was working full time and I was managing two tattoo shops. So I was doing all the book work, running the counter work for one of those shops and basically running the shop managing. So at that time I had been offered an apprenticeship, but there was already someone who had been there longer than me. I felt it was dishonorable to take an apprenticeship over someone who had been at the business longer than me. So I waited and then I started my apprenticeship in 2007. So that's when I actually started tattooing. So I had a very good foundation. So I had my mentor helping me, but then also the tattooers that I worked with, they all had something to input. So, you know, whether it was their style or how they tattooed, they would be like, this is how I do it, you know? And so I would try the way they did it or I would try their machines and see how, what worked for me. Hi, I'm Peter Jamison. I'm the owner of TaylorMade Tattoo here in Woolloongabba, Brisbane. And yeah, we're doing things a little bit differently here. So I wanted to create more of a, a welcoming, sort of less intimidating environment, I guess. So by sort of making nice softer colors, softer sort of artwork on the walls, I guess the whole idea, like when we were putting it all together, was we we're really conscious about the things that we put into the studio and how we laid it out, even about the property that we actually chose. I just saw a lot of properties, and I've worked in a lot of studios as well, um, open plan, sort of more closed in. The idea of like individual rooms was really, really big for me. It's motivating for the artists, especially to have a, a space that's not just about tattoo, but it's also about the art and sort of embracing um, each other's styles and, and working with each other and being motivated by each other. Um, so yeah, a more like art-based um, space is really, really necessary to sort of keep everyone quite motivated. My mentor was very adamant that you should not just stick to one thing because with tattooing, things go in and out of style. It's become very fashionable. So one style is fashionable now it might have its day and then something else comes in. So you need to be flexible, you need to be able to move. I do other art to kind of change my thinking or to just to get, get me out of a very, like the narrowness of tattooing. Painting on paper is wonderful, just freehanding, like freehanding like paintings or drawings without any expectation of where that's going to be. I have a very uh, varied style, so I don't, stick to one style. I do black and gray, I do traditional, I do many different styles because my focus is more on giving a customer or a client uh, something that they want. I want to turn their ideas into a tattoo. So I use, you know, traditional themes or skills and I turn it into something that they're dreaming of. So for me, because I've been taught by such a wide variety of artists, I, ha I can pull from all those toolboxes and, and make something that's bold and will hold and will, you know, will last a lifetime. That's, that's the point of why I tattoo or how I see my tattooing. I prefer to work from the client and then pull their dream and make it a reality. Yeah.